As everyone that watches the show knows, one of my passions is hiking and snowshoeing. It allows me the opportunity to be one with nature, to be alone with my thoughts and reflect on how good life really is when you're outside in the North Woods. Steve had told me he was going to take me to a snowshoe area where I could break my own trail and I was excited with the opportunity. Well, when Steve said drop me off, that was exactly what he meant. He showed us how to get to the Rifle River Recreation Area and said, have fun, I'll see you tomorrow. This is the jewel of this nature-blessed county, a wilderness located within the Asable State Forest. Well, Denny and I have come out right now. We're going to be snowshoeing one of the trails out here, the Pintail Pond Trail. It actually uh, goes around at what is known as a northern fin. It's kind of like a bog area, so it's swampy back in here. Uh, generally, those types of areas draw in a lot of wildlife. Maybe with a little bit of luck, we'll see some out here. Uh, it, uh, we've got some fresh snow on the ground. We've got about eight inches out here today, and uh, that's why we got the snowshoes on to keep us up a little bit. And we're going to go out here and find out what this trail is like. It is an interpretive trail, meaning it is signed along the way. Uh, it kind of explains some of the uh, different uh, flora and fauna that is out here. So we'll get out here, take a look around, see what we can find. Moving through the forest on snowshoes is a silent way to travel. When I'm not on camera, I will many times run across wildlife crossing in front of me. Rifle River Recreation Area offers over 50 miles of ungroomed trails that make it perfect for the cross-country skiers and snowshoers, giving us the opportunity to break our own trails in the freshly fallen snow. You'll find a trail map of this area from a link on our site. The map contains all the trails throughout the park. It lists the best trails for hiking and skiing separately from the biking trails. If you're really into roughing it, the park has certain campsites that are open in the winter. Contact the park for more information. Looking across the frozen snow-covered land gives you the feeling of a moonscape. A place where you're the only person that's ever been here. Not the case, but it sure feels that way. Oh, this is, this is a nice area here. Look at this. Got a beautiful creek running through here. This is actually Gamble Creek. Uh, one of the many creeks that's here in the recreation area and eventually this will flow downstream and flow into the Rifle River itself Just still inside the park here, but now I'm probably half a mile down downstream But man, is this pretty or what? There's nothing better than coming out in the middle of winter and having these open creeks like this and Snow built up around the sides just makes for a pretty sight. Well worth coming out here for this area provides a variety of recreational opportunities year-round, including camping, rustic cabins, swimming, picnicking, and miles of trails for biking, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing. Tin lakes with panfish, trout, and pike, and streams with brown, brook, and rainbow trout lure the fishermen. The wilderness area is also ideal for hunting and trapping. A footbridge serves as a gateway to the trail and provides a scenic view of the river. The Rifle River Recreation Area offers many opportunities to observe nature and wildlife. An observation tower offers the highest vantage point and a panoramic view of the scenic area and was the site of Auto Magna H.M. Jewett's hunting and fishing retreat. We were fortunate that Steve Krantz, park manager, would be our guide. We're standing in one of the highest points in the park. This literally gives you a bird's eye view of uh of our surroundings here you can see four of the seven lakes that are in the park here and there's also uh, an eagle's nest that's viewable from here and there's another new construction going on for an eagle's nest over here in the pine tree so um, this is a popular spot for people to come and, and really get a bird's eye view of the park this is also the uh, site of the lodge of the former owner of this property Harry Jewett who was an early uh, auto uh, engineer and uh, developed a, an automobile and he owned this property before the parks division got it and actually it was purchased by fisheries first and then parks uh, purchased it from fisheries so we've had it since about 1965. The wilderness area offers three rustic campgrounds with more than 100 campsites. Rustic cabins are also available for rent. Located apart from the campgrounds the cabins offer a simple retreat. We're inside of the Grebe Lake cabins. This is one of the five cabins that we have here in the park. They're rustic cabins, meaning there's no electricity. Um, the amenities in here are uh, uh, table and chairs. You have a surface over here for preparing food. And you have uh, three sets of bunk beds or six beds with mattresses. Outside you have a uh, fire circle, a picnic table, a wayside grill, 
a vault toilet and hand pump on site. Um, this location is on one of the uh, lakes where you can you can put your boat in and come around here and dock it and, uh, and fish from the cabin here and get down to your boat. Uh, the cabins rent for $65 a night and they can be rented th either through us. Uh, there's a one night uh, rental during the week and on the weekends it's a two night minimum. And uh, if you're going to make a reservation, which we recommend you do it through the 1-800 uh, reservation number that you can make state park uh, campsite reservations for.